This is a simple tutorial in which you learn how to circle crop a photo like this and with the same steps you can also crop a video like this. And I'll also show you how to creatively crop your photos and videos like this. We're gonna do everything inside Canva and the whole process is very very easy to follow but if you miss one of the steps you might find yourself stuck at some point. So I do recommend you watch this video until the end. We're gonna open canva.com and from here if you already have an image that you want to crop you're gonna upload it. So we are going to click upload you will see the button on the top right corner. You're gonna click here and then from here you can upload your own photos. You can also upload documents, files and videos. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use a photo. You can either drop your photo in here or click this button to access the files on your computer. I'm gonna click here to upload this photo. So I'm selecting the photo and then click open. You will see then your photo in this pop-up window and you have two different options. You can edit the photo or you can use it in a new design. So I'm gonna use it in a new design. From here you are going to select the document format that you want to create or you can simply go for a custom size. You can customize the width and the height if you want but I'm going to leave it as it is and then click create new design. You're gonna land on the editor and from here we are going to find an element that will help you crop your photo. To do this you are going to open and the elements tab that you will find on the left menu. Then scroll down until you see a section called frames. From here click see all and you will find all of these frames which are going to help you crop your image. We're gonna start by using a basic shape and to bring one of these frames to your page click on it. As you see we have now the frame on our page and the photo is behind. We just need to select the photo and then draw Drag it until you see your mouse hovering on top of the frame. As you see now, our photo has been cropped into a circle. And you can do this if you have a Canva free or a Canva Pro account. Now, let me show you a pretty cool feature which is quite recent that will allow you to change the shape or the aspect of your frames. Let's say that you don't need a circular shaped frame on your design but rather an oval shape. You can change the aspect of this frame by simply dragging these anchors that we see in here. So I'm going to drag this anchor to the lateral and as you can see I have now an oval shaped frame. Let me go back to show you that you can also move these anchors right here to change the aspect of this frame. Let's use a different frame. So let me go to elements see all and this time let's bring a different frame so for example this triangular shape to show you that you can do it with some other frames but this feature is not available to all frames in the library so for example let me show you that these anchors right here are not visible in frames like this one in this kind of frames we can only change the size but not the ratio there are some other frames like for example the devices ones and some other ones like the paper frames. So it's really up to you to discover the elements in the frames library to see which ones have this feature and which ones don't. Now let me show you how you can adjust the image inside the frame. Let's say that you want to see more of your face and when you click on the frame and you stretch the image this is just making the photo already cropped bigger or smaller but I just want to see more of my face. You are going to double click on the image and from here you have access to the photo that is being cropped. So if you stretch the image you now see more of yourself or if you want to position yourself to the lateral you can also do it like so. On the left hand side you also have a slider that allows you to rotate your image if you wanted to. Once you are done you're gonna click on this button that says done and your photo is ready. Now let me show you how you can replace the photo in the frame so you can see your design with different photo options. You're gonna go to uploads if you want to try one of your own photos and you can upload your files using this button. I already have a photo 
that I can use on this frame. So I just simply drag and drop the photo over the frame and that's it. Another way to replace a photo in a frame is by selecting the frame and then clicking on this trash icon. This will give you access to delete the image inside the frame or delete the frame with the photo. So we are going to select the first one and like this we have an empty frame ready to be used. Now let me show you how you can crop a video that looks like this into something like this. This time we're going to start with an empty Canva document. We're going to open the Elements tab and again we're going to scroll down until we see the Frames section. Click See All and from here you are going to choose any frame, the frame that you prefer. So this time I'm going to select a different one, why not? I'm going to go for this flower shape right here and instead of uploading a video Video, I'm gonna use a video in the library so I'm going back here because I want to be again in the elements tab and I'm going to scroll down until I see the videos section from here click see all and I'm going to search for a video with a puppy so let's type puppy and from here you just simply need to find the video that you want to use and then drag and drop it inside the frame if you want to adjust the video inside the frame double click on the frame and from here you can either change the size of the video or the position of it. Hit done and now as you can see your video has been cropped in a very cool shape. If you changed your mind and you don't want to use a video but a photo you can go to the photo library. I'm gonna use exactly the same search so instead of videos I'm gonna use photos and then dragging and dropping again the photo on the frame. I now have changed the video for a photo. Now that you know how to crop photos and videos, remember to subscribe and give us a like. But we are not done yet. We still need to learn how to find these amazing frames in Canva. Let me show you how to find these cool frames that I just showed you. You're gonna open the Elements tab and then scroll down to see all frames. So frames, see all and from here you will see that you have different categories you have basic shapes you can preview some of the frames in here by clicking on these arrows or see them all by clicking here canva has so many amazing frames that i really do suggest you go and spend some time discovering all of the different categories that you see in here but i want to use this little section on this tutorial to show you that there are so many many more frames different than the ones that we see listed here. So I'm going to show you a couple of different keywords that you can use on this search bar to find pretty cool frames. We're going to start by typing texture, hitting enter, and as you can see we have so many different frames that we didn't see before. Click on any of the frames to bring it to your design and let me show you now when I go back and use any of these photos on the frame we we have a texture on top of the photo or on top of any video. Let's go back to the frames section. So frames see all and this time we are going to search for glow. Hit enter. As you can see these frames have a really cool neon effect that can help your photos and videos pop from your designs. You can also try some other seasonal keywords like for example Christmas and pay attention to this. There are some really amazing frames in here that actually have some movement. So let me bring one of them to the design and pay close attention to these elements right here because they are moving. This is actually the first time I see a frame with animated elements and I really really like them and I cannot wait to find more of these frames. Now let me try another three keywords that I have here. So this time I'm gonna type Diwali, hit enter and look at all of these amazing frames that 
that we have in here. Now we're gonna try paper. We have so many different options in here that it's actually difficult to choose because all of them look pretty amazing. And lastly try the keyword crayon which is also one of my favorites here. Now let me show you how you can download these cropped images and videos. Let's say that I want to download this photo right here. You're gonna use the share button that you see on the upper right corner, click here, and then select download. From here you have different options. If you want to download this photo exactly as it is, you can either select JPEG or PNG. Let's say that you want to download this photo with a transparent background, so we'll only see a round photo. You're going to select PNG and then select transparent background. This option is only available for Canva Pro users, but if you have a Canva free account and want to try this feature out, we have a 45 day free trial in the description of the video. After selecting transparent background, you can click download. And what about if you have a video inside the frame? Let me show you how to download it because this one will be slightly different. You're going again to click on the share button on top of the screen, then hit download. And from here, you are going to select either MP4 video, which is the suggested file type, but if you want to download this video as a GIF, you can deploy this menu and select GIF. Me, I'm going for an MP4 video and at the moment, as you can see, we don't have the option to download the video with a transparent background, but this feature may come in the future, so make sure to check out our channel for the recent Canva updates. As of now, we only have the option to select the file type, so I selected this one and then if you have a Canva Pro account you have the option to increase the quality or the size of your video. I'm gonna leave it as original and then once you are ready click download. I'm leaving here the link to our Canva app in case that you want to try it out and I'm also leaving here the link to our YouTube membership where you'll have perks and exclusive educational content. I think this is it for this tutorial and hope to see you in the next one. Bye!